Okay folks, well welcome to Dead Space 2 with me, Snoopy Dog, or Snoopy for short, if you prefer. It's actually Snoopy with Q's. But anyway, we're in Dead Space 2, as you can see, and this is one of my Dead Space 2 suit mods. This particular one is the Advanced Suit Black with black detail more about that in a moment but the first thing I want to show you is that this is a very high render image and let me show you why I'm claiming that we go to settings we go to visuals and you can see that we are running this game at 5120 by 3200 at 60 Hertz yep we really are doing that and custom render settings everything is maxed out now I am recording it at half frame so I'm not recording it at that resolution but I'm still recording it at 2560 by 1600 so still very significant anyway as I said uh, this is mainly to feature uh, one of my suit mods never released on the internet um, I did it a little while ago and never got around to do anything about it uh, release wise but people are still playing Dead Space 2 and I have had a few requests for my suit mods so I thought I would um, go ahead and uh, release this one also there are two base versions to this there's the um, black and black detail version which you see before you and also a black and steel version um, in addition to that I've got three different flavors if you like I've got a high reflect version a medium reflect version and a low reflect version uh, this particular one is the high reflect so let's just go down here where we can see we've got two red spotlights and let's see what happens when we get there well as you can see being very reflective high in reflections and specular we are picking up these red spotlights quite nicely if I switch weapons uh, you can see more clearly that we are in fact uh, picking up the red elements on the uh, white components of that particular weapon but you can see that the suit is also picking that up with a nice red tinge to the black in lots of different places on the suit and if we go into that doorway where we've got some um, magenta lighting you can see we picked that up also and uh, outside Trixie's fine candy store we're also picking up green so even with high reflection when you're in dark areas the suit is going to change its appearance somewhat it's going to take on the lighting in the environment so a little brighter here as you can see in the mezzanine area actually while we're talking about lighting I will point out that if your game doesn't look quite as dark or moody as this does contrasty I suppose would be the right um, description that's because I'm running uh, reshade uh, or sweet effects uh, two and uh, let me show you what the game looks like in default lighting okay so not not terrible um, certainly makes a difference to the look of the suit as you can see and now you can see that everything is really black or tonal changes of black should I say not everything is actually grey black 
varying shades of grey. There are some of course, but there's lots of blues and cyans and magentas and greens and I think that, that adds a bit of depth overall. So let's turn Sweet Effects back in and I like that effect and the main reason for doing this particular um, lighting solution uh, of my own uh, design um, is because I wanted areas that really do not have any ambient or direct light uh, other than Isaac's weaponry that is um, I wanted it to actually be as black as it should be and especially in space it would so okay so picking up more highlights more specular like I said this is the high reflect version and another step forward even more light that sort of sparkling self shadowing stuff there is pretty poor but that's not within my control so don't blame me for that and one more step forward wow I mean all that armor plating now on the thigh guards and the ribs etc um, they're really picking up high specular and reflections to the extent that they almost look like they are steel in colour but as we've just seen that's not the case let's just step back and you can see it is black stand up as it thank you first version so um, advanced suit black with black detail high reflect okay so uh, we are back and we are back with a different suit um, it still is the uh, base uh, black and black detail but now what we've done apart from changing the visor obviously and the health and stasis um, we've now gone for the low reflect version and if we go into the dark area here you'll we'll see the effect I mean it's just like a black silhouette really now or at least that's how I see it that's how you should see it if you can see apart from just as I was rotating there there's a slight specular highlight appearing on Isaac's uh, chest display just on the edge there but everywhere else it is almost completely black there's a bit of illumination from the um, uh, health hologram but apart from that it's all pretty black so let's go into uh, a bit more light now of course it's quite uh, satin in appearance but still very dark which is uh, what you'd expect from a low reflect version and we're going towards the light here now and now we are picking up some of the specular and reflections and if we go right into the uh, brightest part this is as bright as you're going to get it now what is interesting is that when you see it now you can see the point I was making about the different tonal shades of black so looking at the arms and the um, uh, yeah the forearm uh, armor protectors there 
you can see that they're clearly uh, a mixture of cyans and blues and that's not so obvious with the high reflect version so I did promise that the thing would look uh, different in different lighting conditions and I'm hoping I'm proving that but yeah let's um, let's go into the toy toy illuminated red area now what's interesting here is is that it is really only the very high specular elements of the suit that are being picked up so predominantly uh, with the red spotlight let's turn to the side you can see what I mean in fact that um, uh, warning triangle is is almost appearing to be self-illuminated into neutral light so yeah because this is not bright it's neutral light but it's not bright light um, you are getting you are getting a real sense of the blackness of the suit but you are not losing the detail you can still see the detail in the suit which was intentional of course again all speculars and highlight areas are picking up more of the green than the high reflect one does and that's because the high reflect one of course is reflecting quite a lot of the white light that is present within the green element if that makes sense so let's switch suits again this time we've got red visor health and stasis and sticking with the black and black detail for the advanced suit this one is the medium reflect version well, hopefully by now you've got used to the idea of what we're trying to achieve or what I'm trying to achieve And as you can see, this is more sheen and satin than um, than bright specular. There is some bright specular there, but it's much more subtle. But it does have a much more satin appearance to the suit. Still picking up some of the red from the spotlights, but not as much not as much as the last suit which was the low reflect version because that's that was absorbing more than reflecting if that makes sense sure it does and magenta that's being picked up quite nicely also with Trixie's candy store well picking up quite a lot of the green and again it's, it's you know in this sort of lighting it is still quite shiny but not as reflective obviously as the high reflect version so I'm hoping to give a choice to everybody Now clearly this is a compromise between the high reflect and the low reflect version um, and some I'm sure may prefer this one. So let's go forward a step towards the light picking up more, more specular highlights than the low reflect version and again with the uh, brightest element it's quite bright but clearly not as bright as the high reflect version 
but definitely brighter than the low reflect version where the unitology marker symbol is the yellow I should pick that up quite nicely too and it does look you've got almost um, a greeny yellow appearance because of the course the suit is black the light is yellow and that's sort of mixing and blending together so you've not got a yellow suit but what you do have is the combination of those two colors merging with both ambient and reflection of this yellow marker showing up clearly the the whiter parts like around where the uh, uh, red warning triangle is and that's probably one of the most yellow elements now let's go look at the uh, advanced suit black with steel shall we let's see how that appears okay folks so this is the advanced suit black with steel trim so it's black with steel and this one is the medium reflect version and as you can see I've also changed the visor yet again as well as the health and stasis to a purple so yeah so we stood some distance away from the uh, bright area but we're picking up quite a lot of ambient and reflection on the steel looking elements like I say it probably wouldn't be steel it'd be some sort of titanium alloy and the other thing that's become apparent now and trust me this is exactly the same as the black and black um, we can actually see more detail within the steel work now so if you look at the um, thigh armor you can actually see the sort of scrapes and striations the marks Yeah, there's a lot more sort of surface texturing being displayed on the steel version black with steel let's go forward a bit more light and a bit more reveal so if you look at the arm upper arm armor see more of it there see a lot more of the detail and of course the um, rib guards uh, are much more prominent too I'm stepping a little further forward still quite a lot more reflection and you can see that the specular is even on the medium reflect version is very bright now uh, as you would expect from uh, a surface uh, color that is actually steel as opposed to black and if we go right underneath it's almost complete white in fact in areas it really is but as we rotate the view you can see that the detail disappears and reappears can you see that focus on the thigh armor for greatest effect and look at the lower face plate on Isaac's helmet Attention. This is 
and on the rear a lot more details showing up let's go to toy toy and you can see how much of that red light now is being displayed on the lighter areas a bit closer I think there we go a lot more being displayed now and I expect the same to be true from Trixie's and there we are as if by magic two more to go we've got the low reflect version of this suit of this base type and the high reflect version let's see how we get on and I've now loaded the low reflect version of the advanced suit black with steel detail let's just move a little further away from the light now you can see that even though this is a low reflect because it's the steel version which has got much lighter materials you can still see them in the darker areas but on the red light the lighter colored steel really highlights now even though it's the low reflect version all the brighter areas are really picking up the ambient and the direct lights let's have a look in the green zone likewise let's have a look at the final suit this is the final part so this is the advanced suit black with steel detail and this is the high reflect version so even though we are some distance away from a direct light source you can see that we have got quite a lot of shine going on on the steel looking elements even when we turn around so let's walk into this neutral light look at that a lot of reflection as you'd expect from shiny steel looking stuff that we can have different color visors and stasis and health so there we've got the traditional cyan health and stasis and a green visor okay let's go into the uh, toy toy red spotlights well, that's picking up a lot of the reflections like you'd expect in front of the candy store Trixies again a lot of the green now showing up and in the darker area you can still see quite clearly the suit and much of its detail so right we're back up on the uh, concourse mezzanine with our advanced suit black with steel high reflect let's move a little forward into the light and you can see all the specular 
and reflective elements showing up really quickly. And I'm just going to keep doing this because you will see how bright this suit really gets. And it's brighter and brighter. And actually, even though it is very bright, you can still see the detail of the scratches and scrapes on the armor on the thighs and more that is really bright now and one more step I think and now gosh it's a complete whiteout <laughs> Now I hope you can see from what I've done with these uh, different flavors is the effect it has on the ambient and reflections uh, within the environments uh, and that's just one small area of Dead Space 2's environment set. Uh, I can assure you as you go throughout the rest of the levels uh, you will see many many uh, different appearances of the same suit and that sums up my um, my presentation of the advanced suit black with black detail and the advanced suit black with steel detail in the three flavors high reflect medium reflect and low reflect